And now, join with us on TCT Today with your hosts, Garth and Tina Kuntz. I'm glad you tuned in. Don't go away. This whole week is going to be a sensational week. Yes. And Tina, I am so excited. We have with us Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, and he has written several New York Times bestsellers, started with The Harbinger, The Mystery of the Smika, The Book of Mysteries, and now The Paradigm. And we're going to be discussing that with him this week. He's going to be with us all week long. Well, let me say something real quick here, because I probably won't get a chance to get a word in edgewise in the rest of the program, <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, I just want to tell you, from Tina's heart, if you see anything with the name Jonathan Kahn on it, read it. Yes. How did it come about that you uh, rewrote the book, Jonathan? I, I yeah. understand it was just the yeah. first part of this year that yeah. you, you got the vision yeah. for it. When I was here last time, I had no idea about this. And it happened in January. Things started coming very much like The Harbinger. When The Harbinger came, it was a download that just started coming within a period of about a few weeks uh, to maybe a month and a half. It just kept coming, and the same way the paradigm came. It was the it was the time I was actually in Washington during the inauguration. I was speaking at the presidential inaugural prayer breakfast, and around that time is when it started coming, and it just kept getting more and more. And I was not planning to write this; I was planning to write something else. But this it just kept kept coming more and more and more and more. Sometimes I'd be in my bed. I'm in my bed. My wife is you know sleeping, and I'm there. And these things are coming, and I'm saying, nah, could this be? And I, I get up, you know, I get away, my wife's sleeping, so I, I went to the bathroom, I, I turned on the light, got <laughs> on my laptop, and started just, I needed light, and I started typing, and I said, and it was all true. It's like things that were downloaded were true. Wow, that happened. So that's the way the Harbinger came, came the same way. Um, and so I told my publisher, you know, uh, I said, well, this thing is coming. They said, well, yeah, you should do that. You need to do this. I said, okay, how long do I have? They said, well, you, you got to do it in this time. So I had 60 days to write it. Wow. So I, I wrote it in, in 60 days. Um, and that was like May to, May to no, uh, yeah, April to May. And then June came, edited it, and it was, it was launched end of August Sept or September. So that's how quick this thing happens, you know, very much like the Harbinger. Very now, what, is the, what does paradigm yeah. mean? Paradigm, a paradigm is a, a template or a model or an archetype, a pattern by which other things follow. And in the Bible, the Bible's filled with paradigms. God uses uh, foreshadows and prophetic symbols, the temple, the, the shadows of Messiah, you know, all prophetic symbolism. All these are paradigms. Um, and so he uses that all the time. But what the parad this is, what the paradigm is, is that imagine if they, I would say this, they discovered an ancient blueprint that, that lay behind everything that's happening now, um, that the, the times, what has happened in our lives, the uh, crucial events of our generation, um, the people, well, actually, that's so specific that not only it, it gives what is happening or what will happen or what is, but it gives the times when these things must happen. Again, in some cases, gives the year of the event, in some cases, the month, in some cases, the week, in some cases, the day, even the hour of the event. Um, so it, it's that precise or specific. And not only imagine that it, it also... It, it actually reveals who will be on the national stage, the leaders of our generation, who, who will be leading America. Um, and it gives the, the time period, how much time they will have on the stage before they have to leave. And imagine that behind the leaders of our time, each one has an ancient leader. There's a prototype or a paradigm, an ancient leader from the Bible that they're following. If you like what you saw, make sure to like this video and comment below. Hit that subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.